Hello everybody, it's your boy Bennett Banks here and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be starting a 100 days challenge that I've actually been wanting to do for well over a year. This was the original 100 days that I wanted to get done, but I never got around to it. So welcome to part 1 of 4 of spending 100 days in Satisfactory. Why am I doing 4 parts? Each day in Satisfactory is 1 hour long, which means this is 100 hours worth of footage. And I feel like, at least with my editing style, I can edit it better into four individual episodes rather than one long-ass movie. The remaining episodes will be coming out over the next few weeks as I finish editing them, so feel free to subscribe if you want to be notified when those episodes do drop. Be sure to follow my Twitch and join my Discord, links for that in the description to stay up to date and also watch me play these games live. But, without further ado, let's hop straight into part 1 of 4 of spending 100 days in Satisfactory. Before this playthrough gets started, we need to select a starting location. I've already played quite a lot of hours in Satisfactory, meaning that I already have pretty large bases in the Rocky Desert, the Northern Forest, and the Dune Desert. This means that, ironically, the only location I haven't built a mega base in yet is the beginner-friendly grass fields. So that's going to be our starting location for this video. So I hit that start game button, went through a long loading screen, and here we are on day one. I hadn't played Satisfactory since Update 5, so the beginning of this day was getting my bearings, figuring out the controls, and of course, fighting some enemies. Hey. 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 Get the fuck out of here. After exploring a bit, I found a location that I decided I would set up my starting factory in and place the hub. That see the boy come in? That's my homie right there. After all the times I've seen it, it is still cool as shit. What the hell? After being productive by playing this game within a game, it was time to get to work. God, why are all the animations in this game so sick? While collecting some leaves for biomass, I was also introduced to this chick. Relaying message. Hello, this is Paternal Figure. I have taken ill and need your help to find a cure. Doctors say that the only remedy is alien artifacts. Okay, that's not creepy at all. Ding 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 ding. Okay. And then of course I learned something new. I have a flash. I have a flashlight. With all the little stuff and nitty gritty out of the way, it was time to get to the factory building part of Satisfactory. Just for the moment. Look at that. All right, we have completed Satisfactory. That's all you gotta do. Set up an automation. You're good. The rest of the day turned out to be somewhat productive. I don't like how it says unauthorized hostility. Like, there's, you know, there is actually an authorized version that we're just not seeing yet. But yeah, you can, you can attack him if this happens, right? And with that, the first bit of research is done. Be free, my rocket ship. Milestone Be reached. free. Conveyor belts. You know what? Not a terrible first day. Day two began by watching the sunrise over a grateful universe. But now it's time to get to work. I'm back to automation. What up, bro? I'm gonna call you Toast. <laughs> now you're here with me in spirit. Or not. While expanding my factory, I forgot about a critical aspect of this game. Blew the power grid there. Okay. 
While scavenging for some leaves and biomass materials, I came across this cave and decided to do a classic horror movie cliche. This seems like a terrible idea, but you know what? Why not? Oh, no, absolutely not. Wait, your health regenerates now? Bro, when I used to play this game, it never regenerated. After expanding the power grid just a little bit, it was time to start researching stuff using the MAM. Given that a majority of the iron products were now being produced, I needed to get copper going as well and get it into my makeshift storage room. Yeah, a lot of work did get done on day two. Day three began by getting a little bit of research done. Alright, logistics mark to it. With Mark II belts now unlocked, I could get the factory running at 100% efficiency given my current inputs, which was nice. Now we should be operating. Why are there dips? Why is it dipping? Everything is perfectly optimized, I know, because I can math. So why is it dipping? However, the concrete production wasn't running at 100% efficiency for seemingly no reason. Why? Why are you turning on and off? Why? Why? That doesn't make any sense. Okay, so let me math here. I got 30 per minute coming from there and 60 per minute coming from here. These each take 45. 30 plus 60 is what? It's 90, that's right. 90 should go to two of these, 45 and 45. I put the 30 straight into this one, the 60 straight into this one, and then this splits off because this doesn't need the full 60. So it should send an extra 15 this way. Am I gonna have to like properly load balance this shit? Okay game, you happy now? Ah, look at that. Nice, flat, no fluctuation means everything is running and we're orbiting Saturn out here what the hell I just noticed that we on Titan let's go while I was waiting for my factory to produce some required materials I did some exploring scavenging and a bit of research and now it is time for my favorite part of this game God, that never gets old. That is so cool. Wow. <laughs> oh, I love when that happens, Jesus. That's awesome. The rest of the day was mainly spent hunting power slugs and doing the odd thing here or there. Day four was a very productive day that began with the construction of the reinforced iron plate factory. All right. Reinforced plates of iron are done. Let's fucking go. Now that all the research has been completed for tiers 1 and 2, it's time to set up a temporary factory to craft all of these space elevator parts. Alright, um, do, 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 got 50 rotors. Not too shabby, not too shabby at all. And you already know I got up to some questionable activities while waiting for those parts to craft. The intrusive thoughts are telling me to jump. Shit, 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 shit. Dude, what? Why? After finishing up these questionable activities, it was time for something that never gets old. This will unlock tiers 3 and 4. Absolutely. Let's go, let's get her going, let's get her going. Holy shit, <laughs> that's a lot. Considering there is nothing more important to a satisfactory player than automating power, the rest of the day was spent researching coal power as well as finding a location for the power plant. Hmm. 
Milestone reached. Cool Let's go! Come on! Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Can be fully automated. Yep, this this will work just fine. Oh, you put us here. Yeah, smooth move, dumbass. The morning of day five, you'll notice the experimental build title in the top left of the screen. This is because update eight dropped today in experimental edition, and I figured, you know what, let's get all the updates in this video. So the rest of this playthrough will be played on the experimental edition, which will have its own problems, but we'll get to those later. Anyways, a bit off topic. All I did today was work on the coal power plant. It was a long day of finding, crafting, and building, so I'll let the highlights speak for themselves. 120 will power 8, and 360 will power 24. I will keep going. I'm going to craft these rotors till I can't craft anymore. And then, I'm gonna craft some more. That doesn't make sense. You know what? We craft them. Cables, what I'm missing, really? That's the that's the big one. Alright, well, let's get four online first, and then we can deal with the rest of this shit. 24 times 75. 1800 megawatts of power. Alright, not too shabby. Not a lot, but, you know, enough. Alright. Hopefully, my power grid doesn't crash here before this gets fired up. Hopefully. There we go. Now we got some automated power coming in. That's better. Much better. Let's go. We're gonna have to worry about stupid biofuel anymore. Yeah, I didn't realize how massive some of these plants were. I thought I could have fed it six easy. Um, it's not. I guess I gotta go more this way. When day six began, I was still working on the coal power plant, and I had to do just a little bit of big brain math. We need a hundred broders plus five pumps. We need 110 rotors. <laughs> math. And they told me that math would never be useful in my life. <laughs> After just a bit of crafting, I headed back to the power plant to continue and try to finish up construction. <sighs> There's nothing quite like watching generators come online. It's satisfactory knowing you're not going to have to replace them. Just beautiful. Ah, yes. The chimneys are smoking. Pollution never looks so good. That is wonderful. No need to worry about my biofuel anymore, thank the lord. Once it's all bagged up, we'll have a nice, solid stream of 1,800 megawatts. Yeet. Now that I was crying tears of joy that I didn't have to collect any more biomass, I decided I would spend the rest of the day exploring, killing the natives, and collecting as many power slugs as I could find. Yeah, like, it almost seems too easy. You know, I've seen Indiana Jones. I think all the slugs respawned in my world because... Oh, when I loaded from experimental to, um, or when I loaded from early access to experimental, it must have respawned all the slugs. Okay. And now we got the big boy Xeno Basher. Oh, I got an extra hand slot, too. Throw you in there. Morning of day seven, I was happy to have power, which meant it was time to get some research going. And boom. Milestone reached. Steel production unlocked. Foundry grants access to new simple steel parts. An additional project part can now be constructed. Progress for the next phase is now possible. I also got excited when I finally got to open up the awesome shop for the first time in a while. There's a boom box? There's a boombox? I didn't know there was a boombox in this game. Yeah, I missed a lot. With a ton of power now available at my fingertips, it's time to move my starter factory into a real factory. Okay, this seems like a platform of enough, let's call it girth. The purpose of this factory will be to produce all of the parts required 
to expand further out into the world. Anyways, let's get building. I won't lie, I was pretty undecisive about designing the storage room, but I was kind of okay with how it turned out. Beauty. You know what, it's not beautiful, but again, this is more of a starting base, so yeah. Anyways, I need to get shit producing. By the time night fell, I realized I was going to need a lot of concrete, so I headed out to find some limestone and prepare to make a factory that will produce it into concrete. Is that a big one? Yep, that is a fucking massive one. Bloody hell. The morning of day 8, I was finishing up the concrete factory. I decided I was going to produce the concrete on site instead of shipping it over to the factory just because, well, I wanted to. I wanted to produce about 120 concrete per minute, so that's what I spent the beginning of the day doing. Alright. Now that should be fine. With that done, I could hook the concrete up to the storage room, giving me my first official item. This massive space underneath the factory was where I was going to run all the lines, do all the organizing, and put all the ugly stuff you really don't want to see in the factory. After my favorite activity of slug hunting, I was able to craft something that was extremely useful. Boom, let's go, let's get it, get it on. Oh, oh man, that is wonderful. Sprint, 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 sprint. Yeet. Yeet. Oh, gosh, that is... Love it. Phenomenal. After this, I started throwing some things from the starter factory into the awesome sink in order to begin kind of deconstructing it, move some stuff up to my main base, and did a bit of shopping along with some other random things. For now, these are the big ones that I need. Alright, let's see what 50 alien DNA capsules can get me. Holy shit. Sulfur. Data shows this is a mix of sulfide and sulfate minerals. The morning of day nine, I was out doing some exploring and I learned something the American way. God, it's so much easier with guns. <laughs> I like it. I was out today trying to find a Caterium node as there was a lot of technologies I wanted to unlock so I wanted some Caterium at my factory. Why? Fuck. <sighs> god damn it, 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 the crashes post update suck. Yep, there is a lot of crashes during today and over the next few days while they're working on a lot of the bugs in the experimental edition but it was getting frustrating i'm only going to show you a few but i want you to know that i did suffer god why Once I finally had the Caterium node all the way back at the main factory, I finished up how big I wanted the main storage room to be. Alright, so storage room area is good. And then I got to automating Quickwire. Alright, let's start on the first, I guess, inner factory factory. Is that how you say it? Inner factory factory? Late at night, I also started laying plans for a little AI limiter factory, and then broke some ankles. <laughs> Get juked, motherfuckers! The morning of day 10, I had a stressful breakdown that I was all too familiar with, thanks to university. Alright, uh, I gotta think here, I gotta think, how do I math? What's math? How do I do math? What is math for? What is the purpose? I know how to do math, you just need a calculator. 
Do you need a calculator? I can do this with my hand. Okay, so I need 40 for that, 80 for that. I can use 40. Holy shit. I did spend an embarrassingly large amount of the day working on the AI limiter slash copper sheets factory, but you know what? It is what it is. Yeah, I'll just use it to make the copper ingots. Or the copper sheets, and then I can use the other 120 node to make the normal. Yeah, yeah, that's that's exactly what I'm gonna do. See? Big brain, big brain, big brain. I have a massive brain. My brain is phenomenally sized. Copper sheets up and running. Now that these two factories were completed, I headed over to a group of iron nodes near my base that I was ready to fully overclock. However, I got a really nice surprise from past banks. Uh, did I already tap these? Huh. Huh, I already fully overclocked them. <laughs> oh, man. That's awesome. Day 11 began by running my four iron lines over to my newly constructed factory. Oh, hey, why? What, what are you doing? Why are you here? I also had to take a bit of time out of my morning to let nature know who's the new boss in town. Hey, buddy. Aren't you the cutest little thing in the world? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You waddle away. Off my factory. I've got room for your furry ass. I then began using that line of iron to make a factory for the main three iron components, iron plates, iron rods, and screws. Storage room's coming along. Quite nice. Also, turns out nature isn't all ugly. Dude, that thing looks so cool. Like, The morning of day 12, I was working on the copper factory to produce copper wire and cables. Here comes the copper products in three, two, one. Kind of, I guess I got it. All right, this one's, uh, Mark one, so it'll take a second, but all right. Then wire should be coming out here in three, two, one, and a half, and a quarter, and an eighth, and the sixteenth. Yeah, there we go, right on time. Let's go. With my new copper factory now online, I could shut down my old starter copper factory. Wasting some more products. That's good. So that'll be done soon. After this, it was time to start thinking about other products that I wanted to produce. However, I was gonna need to find a resource for this. All right, where's the nearest quartz? I kind of want to get some of the quartz products online. After this slightly disheartening moment, I decided that I was going to work on the reinforced iron plate factory in my main factory, as that was the only factory still running in my starting factory. Oh. How do you switch this? Why is it... Why is it just snapping to the ground? All I need to do is put... 60 screws per second into here, 60 screws per second into here. And then we get 28 reinforced iron plates per minute, which is balling out. Day 13 began by continuing work on the reinforced iron plate factory. Impact and satisfact. With this factory now completed, I am finally able to shut down the final part of my starter factory, meaning that I am kind of in the mid game now. Just shut down the last little bit. While connecting up the reinforced iron plate factory to the storage room, I found out something I didn't know about roof belts. Yo! It just automatically places this the roof hanger thingies on the roof? I didn't know that. I thought you had to place them beforehand. What? That's awesome. Yo! 
This game's always had good features, man. I swear to God. That's dope. That's dope. That's d -d 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 dope. I also took a bit of time to experiment with new flooring options. I don't know. Does this look ugly? It kind of looks ugly. It might be ugly. I don't think it looks ugly. Could it be ugly? It's, you know. Not too bad for the fights going through, by the way. After this, a bit of research was done. Then it was time to go hunting for some quartz. Uh oh. Originally, I was planning on using trucks, but there was no coal around here, so I just decided, you know what, we're running these belts all the way back. The morning of day 14, only one quartz line was fully coming through, so I had to go diagnose that problem quick. I felt like a bit of destruction, so I tore down parts of the starter factory that had run out of a backup of materials, so they were no longer producing. And eventually, the entire starter factory was gone. It was then time to begin manufacturing all that quartz that I was bringing in, turning it into quartz crystals and silica, as those are really the only two products to make out of it. However, I was having a satisfactory moment when for some reason I couldn't get this to snap. Why the fuck isn't this working? It doesn't make sense! Why did everything else snap and then this one didn't snap? That makes no fucking sense! Alright, I'm good. Oh, that's why. After all this hard work, I did just a little bit of research, and then I went to test out this new research. Let's see what this does. Oh, holy shit. Got it, it's a, uh, it's a shotgun blast. America, oh, yeah. The morning of day 15 began by hearing some odd noises. Oh, fuck is that? You hear that shit? What was that? You live your truth down there, buddy. You enjoy it. And it's also time for me to demonstrate the normal thought process of a satisfactory player. But what if I put it over there? I could put it over there. Over there could work, but I want that there and I want that there. I also want, I need to get that, that, that. Okay, so if I put that there, maybe I can get something in there. I can put that there, that there, or that there. Oh, but fuck, I forgot about that. Uh, maybe if I... I don't know. What the hell are you doing, bro? I decided to do a bit of design work on the outside of the factory, not to make it look nice, just so gravity made a little more sense. With the majority of the rest of the day taking the remaining 120 line of iron and turning it into a rotor factory. I'm, I'm really not proud of that, but... You know what? Uh, I... I have no shame. With the rotor factory now completed, I had a bit of a bittersweet moment as I tore down the final awesome sinks and, I guess, remnants of the starter factory, meaning it was now, for real, completely gone. Well, there goes the starter factory. A bittersweet moment for sure. The rest of the night was spent starting to construct an auxiliary factory outside my main factory where I would send all my overflow items to be awesome synced. What did I just fucking open up? <laughs> the morning of day 16 was spent underneath my main base, hooking up smart splitters, setting up overflows, and connecting all of the overflow lines and current products I have going into my main storage room to the awesome sink building. With that now completed, it was time for me to start one of the bigger starting factories that I had to create, my modular frame factory. I only had a very, very limited space to squeeze this factory into, so I was very happy that I just managed to get it where I wanted it. <sighs> I just managed to make this fit. <laughs> uh, that's what she said, boys. Yeah, that, that doesn't look great, does it? 
Eh, fuck it. It works. <laughs> the morning of day 17, it was time to hook up some iron lines to the modular frame factory to get it fully online. And there we go, the modular frame factory is now fully... Well, is now supplied with the required iron ore. Let's go see if the damn thing is even online. Alright, well, looks like the factory's coming online. Nicely. Get it hooked up to the storage room. I also will admit that I am a brave soul. Oh, that scared the ever-living shit out of me. I had to shot my own gun. Whoops. I then spent some time expanding my awesome sink building, and I got 12 tickets from the already existing awesome sinks, which is pretty awesome. Of course, I had to go shopping, and then I decided to do a bit of research. We also have to remember that I am indeed a professional YouTuber. Ooh, shit. I realized I was muted that whole time. Lovely. Remember when you were in school and your teachers told you that one day you're going to use math out in the real world? So, I can get 240 steel ingots. I can turn those into... 180. Give me 45. And 6 steel, give me 40. Turn that into 40 steel pipes and 45 steel beams per minute. Then we're, uh, then we're cruising, actually. And you can't forget to, every once in a while, take in the view. Yo, that's so pretty! What? Yeah, <laughs> it's actually kind of sick. Whole ass of their galaxy right there, bro. The morning of day 18, I might have started to lose a bit of my sanity. What up, Toast? <laughs> yeah, me too, man. It's, uh... Been a hard day. I mean, I'm having a good day, but it's been a it's been a long day, long hard day. You agree with what I'm thinking here? What I'm saying? No. Ah, yeah, yeah. I got you. I got you. I'm gonna get back to building my factory. But you have a good day. Yep, you too. After this, I began construction on the steel factory, and I also had one of those really nice moments you have as a satisfactory player. Oh. You know, that's, that is wonderful. Where did those come from? I don't know, and I don't care, but I like it. While building my steel factory, research was completed on my first hard drive in the MAM, so I was able to select my first alternate recipe. Now we've got a decision to make. I'm not going to do charcoal, so it's between pure quartz and cheap silica. I guess quartz is probably better. Yeah, I'll go with pure quartz. A good majority of the rest of the day was spent finishing up the steel factory and, of course, running the lines over to the main storage room. And now we got steel coming out. Wonderful. Given the location of both my steel factory and wire factory, I decided to make a very small stator factory just to start building up those stator numbers. Alright, stators inbound. The morning of day 19, those beautiful stators started entering the storage room. There we go, let's get it. With steel now unlocked, I was able to upgrade some of my storage room buffers to industrial size, the ones that weren't full at least. Oh yeah, this is what behind my storage room looks like, by the way. After this, I was able to unlock and play around with the entire reason I am playing on the experimental edition of this game. Alright, the entire reason I'm playing on this crashy version. I can grab power from the bottom or the top. Or the top is what connects it, and the bottom is like... Yep. Okay. At this point, I finally crafted myself a zipline and then went out hunting in order to get everything I would need in order to research an additional tool belt slot. Oh, bad time for an autosave. After that mildly successful adventure, I headed back to the main base and unlocked blueprints.
Last time I played this game was before this got introduced. So I can just make anything in here and just cop. Oh, that's sick. And you know what? Let's unlock the final piece of research available in tiers 3 and 4. <sighs> and off goes the final tier 4 milestone. Milestone reached. After this, I realized I was going to need a lot more power if I wanted to continue powering my world, so I spent the rest of the day using Mark II miners and Mark III belts to begin to expand my power plant. Early on day 20, work on the power plant continued with the urgency increasing after a certain event. Oh god. Why, what the fuck is going on here? Yeah, actually, pretty much the vast, vast, vast majority of today was spent only working on the power plant. What the fuck? That'll do it. Alright, power output has successfully been doubled. It's only fluctuating a bit because it's still backing up a few, but as you can see, 3600. It should be up to full in under a day. Once I got back to base, I had a few small tasks to do, as well as some minor construction to get done. Day 21 began by filling in the floor on the second floor. I remember back in the day when we used to have to like place each of these individually before they added zooping. Like my first ever factory build, and my, what a time. Once this was filled in, the first floor was completely covered, meaning it was time to experiment with some lighting and see how different things looked. After this, it was time to add signs to the storage room to, you know, spice things up just a little bit. Not too bad. Now you can kind of see where everything is. Yeah. Cause it's like dark down here, right? Hard to kind of guess where that is. And this is only a starting storage room, but, you know. At least adds a bit of some sum to it. With this completed, I did a bit more decorative work and some final touch-ups to the first floor of the factory, and then I realized that I actually have everything I need to craft the next tier of space elevator parts, so that's what I'm gonna do. So I have 12 steel beams, make two versatile framework, I need 500. So 12 times 250. So I need 3,000, which divided by 200. I need 15 stacks of 200 steel. Alright. Look at that. The rest of the day was spent constructing and running lines for an encased industrial beam factory. What did I just jump into? I do not like this. The morning of day 22 was spent expanding the concrete factory in order for it to be able to produce enough concrete to power the encased industrial beam factory. About half of the rest of day 22 was spent finishing up a rather compact encased industrial beam factory. Of course, with this factory completed, I had to connect that line up to the storage room, which took a little bit longer than I'd like to admit. And in my notes, I just put that I spent the rest of the day doing random shit. So, yeah. The morning of day 23 was a morning of research. I wanted to get as much of the research done in the MAM as possible, so the morning was spent just collecting all the supplies needed and doing every bit of research possibly available. After this, it was time to take the next step to progress in this game. Seal. Alright. Probably 50 hours to go. <laughs> Never gets old. Now, now we have tiers 5 and 6 unlocked. Let's go, let's get it. I of course had to take a moment to look over all of the new unlockable technologies. Essentially I need a lot. Essentially I need to automate motors is what's uh, what that's getting down to.
So I need to automate motors and I also want to get the weapons started. Alright. And then I decided that I wanted to begin making a weapons factory, or at least start manufacturing explosive powder so I can turn it into weapons in the future. Sulfur was fairly close to my base, so it wasn't a problem getting that back. However, I had tapped all the coal nodes even remotely close to my base, so if I wanted to get some more coal and bring it into the factory, I was gonna need to go quite far away. So I spent the rest of the day making a path from my factory to a nearby cluster of coal nodes. What are you, you piece of... Oh, oh my god, this is a scary part. How do I keep falling? Day 24 began by continuing the somewhat dangerous task of connecting up the coal lines to the main factory. <gasps> Who are these? Where? Oh my god. These stupid things. By about halfway through the day, everything I needed to create explosives was now at my factory. Okay. After quite a long time, I finally got two coal nodes and a full sulfur node. One of those coal nodes will be for bombs, one of those coal nodes will be to make the casings for the explosive devices. I like it. And then I can just up one of these iron lines already here to fit with everything else. Jeremy Clark once said, sometimes my genius, it's, uh, it's almost frightening. I then spent some time turning 240 coal per minute and 240 sulfur per minute into 480 black powder per minute, and I won't lie, I might have overproduced it just a bit. I spent the remainder of the day starting to plan out the motor factory. 10 rotors per minute. To 10 motors per minute, I'm going to need 20 rotors and 20 stators per minute. 20 rotors per minute is going to take 100 rods and 500 screws. All right, I'm at that point in the playthrough. I need a pen and paper. God damn it. This is the fun part. Day 25 began with me realizing that the amount of resources I was bringing in for the motor factory actually provided a unique opportunity. Steel pipes per minute, 20 black powder per minute, 10 per minute. Okay, yeah. This, this all works out perfectly, actually. Oh my god. The, the math is so satisfactory. What's going on here, fellas? Oh, I love that. All right. That gives me enough. I got the black powder thing right here. So I can just manufacture 120 steel ingots per minute. Use those all to make steel pipes. One of which will go to a small little factory hidden in one of these corners producing novelisk 10 per minute. Which should be more than I will ever need. Aw, oh, that... Yes, 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 yes. Okay, okay. I love when the math works out. I then decided that there was a technology that I wanted to unlock, so I did some handcrafting and headed over to the hub. Just keep crafting, just keep crafting. Uh, best part of the game, but I don't feel like waiting until I get my factory online. Milestone reached. Oil acquisition and refining unlocked. I won't lie, pretty much the rest of the day was spent working on the motor factory along with the Nobelisk sub-factory held within. As day 25 came to a close and looking out over everything I've accomplished over the last 25 days, I realized there's still so much to do. There's still oil, there's still trains, there's nodes to find, there's monsters to fight, and I am looking forward to the next 75 days. Yeah, hope you enjoyed the video, and see you in part 2.